Hi, this is Tikam384. I'm Shida. Today I will present in my guest lecture over the page 314 to 349, which is chapter 13, Media Business Law. Let's get started. The learning objectives are equal employment opportunities and the labor unions. Also, the corporate speech investing in media, and merger mania. Finally, summary these parts. Let's get these first parts. Equal employment opportunities. Congress has created federal legislation requiring employers to provide equal employment opportunities. Uh, as a practical matter, this prohibits businesses from making hearing or fearing decisions based on race, gender, color, grades, or national origin. In addition to such general laws applying to all businesses, specific regulations exist governing governors governing electronic media. The EEO requires opportunities, and what is critical in case involving broadcasters is whether they have been opportunities available to learn about job openings and apply for them. Broadcasters and multi-channel video providers like cable and satellite TV systems are required to take affirmative action to be certain that information about vaccines in their business is widely disseminated and it's not enough to simply post a job in the local newspaper. And in 2019, 2017, a group of broadcasters asked the FCC to allow only vaccines to be posted online. And the broadcasters assert that on online advertising is sufferent in today's environment and cover a wild and diverse group of people. And more importantly, employers should carry out requirement plans, including job fires, internships, programs and other community activities. And at the same year, the FCC relaxed its regulation to allow only job vaccines to be posted online, and stating that the use of the internet has become widespread. And the media companies must also understand other legal issues related to employee discrimination. And they are discriminated against because of their age. The most concerned case is Christian Kraft, this person. Christian Kraft, uh, who elderly removed her from, uh, from her anchor chair by the station, and elderly because she was too old and too unattractive and unrespect for men. This woman finally won the discrimination lawsuit against the station. And for the labor unions, the pain of the Great Depression caused unions to organize to protect members from abuse by their employers. And this group represents media professions, professionals, and in contract disputes and other negotiations. And the National Labor Relations Act gives American employees the right to establish, join, or assist labor organization. And conductive collective bargaining through representatives of your choice and participate in other concerned action for a collective bargaining or other mutual assistance purpose. So 
this N A B E T and S A G A F T I T R A and I A T S E. These three labor unions organized employees in the media, and the National Association of Broadcast Employee and Technician, which joined with the Communications Workers of America, called C W A, in 1994, and the Screen. Actors Guild and the American Federation of Television and Video Artists merged to become SAG and AFTRA in 2012, and the international the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees called IATSC. The unions tend to be more attractive. <coughs> In states where right-to-work legislation has no, not been adopted, and is especially in Louisiana, no person shall be required as a condition of employment to become or remaining a member of any labor organization. Or pay any dues, fees, assessments, or other charges of any kinds of a, to a labor organization. <laughs> For the corporate speech, what is called the corporate speech? The corporate speech is the companies wants to convey their views to voters. And so that they have much discrimination's power. For the investing in media, the Security Acts of 1934 charged the way Americans invest in their businesses. And first and foremost, the law defines. What facts should be disclosed and which one are to be kept quiet until securities are ready for sale, even before media stock are sold, and the corporation must fill a registration statement with the SEC and wait before they start promoting their stock sale. And the Legislation Re Reform Act, nineteen ninety. Five, which the safe harbor of rule one nineteen four one sixty four. Normally, lawyers' language accompanies advanced price released warning investors of risk and uncertain involves including charges in interesting rates. Advertising sales, taxing, taxing authorities, and other financial conditions that may have an impact. What remains are restrictions against announcing, announcing that initial public offering, like the IPO, as before the media firm. Firm fills its prospectus, and the media corporations are legally bound to be vigilant in rooting out misrepresentation, deceit, and other fraudulent acts and practices that may influence the sales of securities. It is also a matter of case law. The media corporations get their investors from fraud. While promoting honesty and fairness. For this part, the merger mania is called the urge to merge. Media enterprise has promoted the government to ask for report from the company that seek to take control of one of its competitors. So for this part, the merger. Mania is that、uh, the Securities Exchange Act of nineteen thirty 
thirty-four, and if the stock seller makes an untrue or misunderstanding statement of a material fact, she or he will be、uh, subject to liability resulting from anyone acting or on that mis misinformation. So that's all this information. And for the summary parts, like equal employment、uh, opportunities, we understand that for the antitrust laws which prohibit companies from engaging in anti-competitive behavior and apply to media companies as they do to any other industry. There are several notable ex- examples of legislation that ex- promotes certain activities that may violate antitrust laws, such as competing newspaper sharing facilities or regulation of sports events. And employment laws also apply to、um, media companies,、uh, but like you know. Uh, RT choose import, uh, employ motion, and、um, specific like special niches have been developed to allow outlets to hear children, and to allow broadcasters to remove anchors on the grounds of age without. Losing age discrimination suits, like we said, the person called Christian Kraft, <laughs> and company that shell stock have the special obligation, like,、mm, to protect their shareholders, the owners, by treating them fairly, and those inside the company with inside information can use their position. To buy shares in the company just before a big discovery is announced, and or sell or sell shares just before the dreaded news of the of a loss is announced. And insiders are prohibited by law from trading on such information, and in some cases, journalists who Obtain such information in public are held liable as well. So, finally, I think a contrast, like for our media bis- business law, a contract is that uh uh, not everyone who has a job sign a lengthy legal contract, you know. But in media industries, many people do have contracts. And those contracts contain a lot of more than just salaries or job discrimination, descriptions, and you know some media contracts, including morals clauses, that prohibits employees from engaging in any activities of the job that may reflect badly on the badly on the employers, and many employees contracts.、Uh, Uh, including moral clause that prohibits employees from engaging in any activities, in any activities of the job that may if reflects badly on the employers, and media employees contracts sometimes you know com- uh, uh, contain non-completed clause that prevents them from taking jobs with a competitor. From six to twelve months. So,、mm, uh, and also, if anything is found false or deceptive, and it's not of the question that the SEC could sue to the lawyer and the company, they are both civil and criminal. Penalties for violating the security laws. That's the investing in media mentioned. So I think that's what we have. We should covered.
So thank you for listening.